Welcome to the Empire by this Rampan and welcome to a new installation guide that I wanted to showcase today where uh, due to some unforeseen circumstances I'm having to start a campaign earlier than I was expecting uh, as my Last Kingdom campaign is having to come to an end because of a hard lock crash which is great um, but I'm going to be showcasing how to install the Italian Wars mod for Medieval 2 the Italian Wars Ultimate 0.7.1 is the one that I'll be showcasing how to install as as far as I'm aware this is the most recent version that I know of and so we'll be going over this version of the mod. So how we're going to start off with this is, so I'm using the links that are provided on ModDB. There is also some links on Total War Center as well, where I'm going to be, again, installing version 0.7.1. Well, right now, uh, what we can do is we need to first download these five parts. So parts one, two, three, and four. And then we need to download the audio as well. And then uh, after we do that, we then need to extract them. So let me download all of these, put them into their own nice separate folder. So we have all that information in one place to then extract and make sure that we have everything all together. Okay, now once we have all of these files, these five in specific, in Okay, so once we have these five files in particular, now we need to make sure that we extract all of them before we run the application. So use whatever you can use uh, 7-zip or whatever raw extraction file software you want to use to extract them all, but just need to get all these extracted before we run the application setup with the ultimate exe. And originally I was about to say that you needed to extract these 7-zip files, but I have actually found out while installing this that the links on ModDB do not work. So I'll actually be including links to the Total War Center, where right now it is currently installing. Essentially, again, you will then just have to download these files. This is, again, the AXE, Part 1, Part 2, Part 3. Download those, same deal as before. Um, they are now not 7-zip files. So they do not need to be extracted. They just need to be ran. Uh, make sure to run the exe, the executable, as a administrator to make sure that it will run through. That is what I have recently done here to make sure it goes through. Otherwise, you'll get an error where it does not um, properly... Um, It'll corrupt one of the events um, related to the Papal Sea coronation. So I will just say, hey, you should instead go to Total War Center to download all these parts. Once it is done downloading here, though, and installing the mod, then we can start trying to make sure that what we're going to be doing is going through and having it so that uh, we will then be putting in the sounds. Technically, I did skip this little bit because uh, I was trying to figure everything out that when you do run the executable, it will be asking you where you want to put the file. Initially, it will default to giving you the file location as if it was using a disk drive. Um, I am not, or the disk version of Medieval 2. I am not using that, so I would be using uh, Medieval 2. So you can just easily go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files if you do not know where your Medieval 2 file is located. So you can try and do that instead. But that step we have now been able to skip because it is just about to finish downloading. I was trying to figure out why can't I install this mod? It now seems to have successfully installed. So now what we need to do is we'll need to go back to the Italian Wars mod location. And now what we need to do here is we need to take the sounds files and we need to take them and put them in here. So we need to go here. Um, you don't have sounds in here, guys. D oh, d data sounds. Data sounds. So data sounds is right with you. Did I have a sounds file in here? No, there's no sounds file. <laughs> okay. You just need to put it in here because there's no sound folder in here at the moment. So go back here. Take this sound folder. This one specifically, this is the one we need to take. Then we need to throw it into this area. So we'll have the sounds folder in the data folder now. Once this has finished going, uh, being sent in there, now we can run the game. I know I'm going to be making a slight little difference change to myself for my, uh, so I can actually run the game. But to get the game to operate right now, just to get it to run, I'm going to do the simple and easy option that if I go down here to my thing, uh, it does make a uh, executable. We'll just run that to showcase the mod. Otherwise, there is the Med2 mod launcher, which does work to launch any Medieval 2 mod for the most part. I know for myself, I will actually be using the Engine Overhaul Expansion Project as I like having windowed full screen. <laughs> I like that. But this is now operational. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, they got an intro. I don't know what the hell this is from, but they got an intro. Oh, they all look mean and nasty. Well, this is now getting ready to showcase. Hey, the mod is now installed. 
I'm just going to showcase a little bit of the campaign map so you guys can see what this mod is about. It is about the 14, it was 1400s to 1570, I think it was, where you have the entirety of Italy, you have a little bit of France, a little bit of Germany, a little bit of Hungary, um, and then a little bit of Africa as well. I, myself, am going to have to be uh, figuring out um, a campaign that I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to have a battle royale of all the factions. So let's just pick a random-ass guy and showcase the map for everybody so that we can kind of see what it looks like and to make sure that it's actually going to load in and you can play the mod. So I'm going to hope you guys uh, enjoyed this installation guide, and I'm hoping it's helpful. I learned a little bit while I was doing it as well to figure out that the ModDB file links do not seem to be working, as far as I'm, tell, uh, I can aware, I'm aware. It might just be that maybe you have to make sure you also run the ModDB versions of the files with the um, as administrator, and then it will work. Oh man, look at this map. But yeah, no, now you guys can see that it has... I don't care about any of this. I'll worry about this when I'm actually starting to play the game but you can now see the map is all here i'm gonna have to turn the fog of war off i don't want to fog wars on immediately um and there yeah it's all active all here man hungry's huge hungry's huge here massive ass map here i like it i always like when we kind of focus in on specific little areas and uh it's gonna be nice to be in an area that is um not the uk right now with the campaigns that i've been doing but no, this seems to be working. Everything's all good and dandy. So I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed this installation guide and hopefully it was helpful. If you guys ran into any issues, feel free and make sure to bring uh, up concerns down in the comments down below. We can kind of collectively figure out what is going on with this installation so that everybody is able to try this mod out for themselves. So I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed this, but this is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time. Working, everything's all good and dandy. So I'm going to hope you guys enjoyed this installation guide and hopefully it was helpful. <laughs>